Meanwhile, July 1st means new laws for the state of Georgia take effect today. Tonight, Fox 5's Elizabeth Rollins joins us from the state capitol with a breakdown of the new laws. Only a few laws have been in place for a couple of months now, but today is a big day as the majority of new legislation goes into effect and begins to impact Georgians around the state. July 1st is always a big day across Georgia, not only marking the beginning of the fiscal year, but it's also the day that the majority of new laws start impacting folks across the state. This year, some of the biggest changes target teen drivers who are now required to take driver's ed under what's being called Joshua's Law. And starting today, colleges and universities will begin adjusting to new regulations. The state is tightening the belt on hazing violations with the Max Groover Act, but becoming more lenient when it comes to sports. House Bill 617 now allows student athletes to profit off of their name and fame. And when it comes to crime, porch pirates will now face tougher penalties under House Bill 94. That feels great. Um, I hate when my packages go missing, so I think it's a great thing. Stealing packages now becomes a felony and convicted thieves could face up to five years in prison. Yeah, get them. Only a few of Georgia's new laws kicked in almost immediately. The controversial new election law has been in effect for several months now, in addition to the state's citizen arrest legislation that changed because of the Ahmad Arbery case. And what began as a temporary adjustment to the pandemic is now a permanent crowd favorite, cocktails to go. You know, a lot of people were, um, you know, scared to go back out and, and go into back into restaurants. And so I think it's actually a really good thing that they're still offering that. It's the greatest thing ever. <laughs> Makes life a little easier. Also going in effect today is Georgia's daylight savings bill doing away with daylight savings coming up all new at 11. What that means for you and whether you'll have to change your clock come this fall. I'm working on that all new at 11. We're reporting from the state capitol tonight. Elizabeth Rollins, Fox 5 News.